here with you and we are here for day seven of the um, 30 inks in 30 days I'm so glad that a lot of you guys are enjoying this um, I'm discovering a lot about the inks and I'm just loving it and I really want to use some of them into uh, my art it's just gonna be very fun I think to integrate both um, yesterday when I shared with you guys my new Twisby Draco I told you that it reminded me a lot of my my um, Conklin um, the fire from uh, th this is the Durograph in the limited edition uh, elements and it's the fire and you can see that they are similar except that this one has a lot more transparency you can see through whereas this one you can't um, it's n now that they're beside one another this one looks a lot more pink than this one so so yeah I thought maybe you would like to see at the two side by side um, and the Twisby is is much bigger like it's 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 bigger in in size um, so yeah this is the the pen that I love the most um, out of my Conklin's and it's just because of the nib I really really love this nib which is a stub nib I'm finding that it makes my handwriting so pretty and I definitely want to get more stub nibs for my other Conklin's um, I've tried many of their different nibs and this is by far my favorite so I think I'm gonna get I could just switch them around but I don't like switching my nibs <laughs> I like to be able to just pick up a pen ink it and and go um, I don't like to and I, I'd like to be able to have two let's say inked at the same time so yeah so I'm gonna have to look into getting more stub nibs for it um, just because I, I prefer them now let's get this chromatography on the way this is Sedona red it's from Robert Oster it's their um, it's the pen chalet special edition <coughs> sorry allergies and um, I really love this red I think it's so pretty it would have been really really pretty in the Draco as well I'm very curious to see what the chromatography is gonna look like you can see some shimmer in here <clears throat> so let's get that going close this off one of the things too that I like with this because it's a bigger nib it doesn't dry off the same way as some of the other ones do so that might be one of the reasons why I love it as well okay so let's whoa that's a lot still a lot hopefully this is enough and yeah I'm getting better at this thanks to all of Mendes tips on this but yeah it's I'm really liking this and then we'll do a little bit of a slush slush here I should have taken this out <coughs> I'm really bad with my allergies when especially in the morning with the cats because yeah, allergic to my fur babies but just love them and they love lying on all my stuff so I end up with a lot of cat hair everywhere I really love you can see the the some of the sparkle in this it's pretty cool pretty pretty cool so for this I decided to use the fire and ice by Robert Frost um, poem because of the fact that this is the fire edition um, the fountain pen and I thought it was fitting so today we're using uh, Robert Oster Sedona Red and 
Shelley limited edition. I shouldn't say limited. It's it's their special. It's their exclusive, I should say. But oh well. Um, this is we're April seventh, twenty twenty one, and I'm using my Conklin Duragraph. Um, fire and with a stub name. And I just love, I love writing with this thing. It's just, yeah. Especially letters. It, my, I feel like my handwriting suddenly looks like adult and writing so some say the world will world will and and that Fire. Some say in ice. From what I've tasted of desire. I hold with those who favor fire but if it had to perish twice I think I know enough of hate to say that for destruction ice is also great and would suffice you can see, <coughs> depending on how fast I'm writing, it doesn't, um, the, <coughs> the writing doesn't stay equal, um, but usually it's still nicer than, than a lot of my other uh, fountain pens. So is the chromatography finish that's the question I'm not convinced I don't know that it is it's still it still seems to be moving a bit um, this one is this here on this little card like it looks like blood basically to me like dried blood it's more brownish And the chromatography is pretty amazing. Check that out. You can see some of the, some orange at the top and the dark, dark, dark red, which is like what I'm saying feels like um, blood to me. 
Uh, so yeah, so that's my, my ink of today. I hope you've enjoyed seeing this and I'm looking forward to reading your comments. Oh, I forgot to do this. Um, I know that I'm, I'm loving seeing everybody's ink. Um, there's so many beautiful ones. <laughs> my wish list is so long now, it's crazy. Um, but I'm really, really enjoying the process and everything. And um, yeah, it's so much fun. So hope you like this extra content because it's been it's been one per day. So that's pretty that's pretty big, and uh, sending you lots of love. Bye, everyone.